And we're back with you, still discussing women empowerment. There's a vibe that you get from the concept of empowerment that you're not starting from a place of power. So we, I think we start sometimes as woman, women from a place that we do not already. Have the power. It's what we do with the power that we have. How we raise our girls mm -hmm. and the confidence that we give to our girls. So I'm sometimes just a little tired too when you see a female engineer and people are like, and you are a woman. Yeah. Oh my God. You're a bus driver, yeah. you're a woman. And you're a woman. And Whatever. you can do this and you are a woman. Socialization. It's socialization. So the question we have to ask ourselves as women is how much we contribute mm -hmm. to some of those myths and how much we contribute to the breaking down of those myths of, of what we are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You're a product of your envir environment, your village. How did you get to this level? Um, Were you always this focused mentally, you know, thinking the way you are empowered, so to speak? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think... I have to credit my mother um, a lot just for who I am. She always pushed me to try. She is like, you cannot know if you don't like something that you have not tried. And she's like, you know what? There's only failure in never trying. Mm -hmm. What is a mistake? You did try something, it never worked. And you know, say, I know so it for do. And you learn. And you learn. Growing up, I actually felt like I was just the most beautiful little girl. Mm -hmm. She'll see a picture of me and she'll call me and she is like, you say you're pretty like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> so I think there's a confidence that comes from, and I think what I've recognized, there's a confidence from knowing that I'm not seeking love. Validation. I, yeah. Nor validation. Mm -hmm. I've been born into it. So I've been born thinking that the world was my oyster. That anything that I chose to, that I pushed for, was accessible. I always grew up with this sense that I am whole. Mm -hmm. That I am actually currently whole. I was born awesome. I was born for success. I was born to tap into anything. Anything that my mind could conceive. I was born to be able to tap into it. And I didn't have to be perfect at the thing. Mm -hmm. Because I am currently enough. Mm -hmm. So perfection, what is perfection? So you tell mommy that you're doing an exam and you, you don't really think that you're going to do so well at it. And she's like, some people did pass it before. You know, you first, at the first time the mother saw people. Yeah, I said, no, mommy. And she's like, think of the people. Like, look around that room and think of the people that are going to pass. Sometimes she said, don't make some of them pass left. <laughs> the confidence meter. <laughs> and so I have to say that what I would always say to parents is that a big part of the power that you have as a parent is teaching your child, one, that you have a safe space of mm -hmm. love right here. You don't have to go a road to seek validation because I'm validating you just from having given birth to you. Mm -hmm. Two, that there is nothing, nothing that's too good or too much for you to do. And sometimes you have to be the first. And it's okay because if you fall, know that I'm there to catch you. I'm not just waiting to pick you up. Mm -hmm. I'll catch that fall for you. And if you can give, that's, that's power. That's empowering right. your child. That is. And, and I think maybe why a lot of women now gravitate towards these conferences, maybe there's this gap. There's no yeah. support system. Yes. They didn't have that foundation. So here it is, something new. And I like it. It's positive for me. Exactly. So they move towards it. Yes. Yeah. Do you find out we might be marginalizing our men when we're coming together, together. this much? I think we are marginali marginalizing ourselves when we are worrying about marginalizing men. Mm -hmm. They're fine. They will be fine. Being fine. They've been fine. <laughs> and in fact, in us tapping into our power, we are also giving them permission to tap into their own and to become more powerful. And how to treat us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think 
as, as humans, as men and women, sometimes we apologize so much for our greatness. We apologize for success. Somebody's asking, how is your day going? And you're like going to dumb down your day. My day is brilliant. <laughs> I'm, like, shining I'm shining like the sun. <laughs> and you saw me look good like this morning when I look for myself in the mirror. I say, how oh, are people going to deal with me today? I am so ridiculously beautiful. I can't manage me. So, you know, that Marianne Williamson um, quote that we use, that we... We apologize really for our greatness, mm -hmm. but actually when we allow <clears throat> people to see our greatness, we are giving them permission. That's what mentorship is about. That's how you aspire. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong with us gathering together for a moment to say, how can we share our experiences to empower each other? Because we are going to be the mothers of sons too. Oh, yeah. The wives. And we have to be at a place that we are strong enough. We are forthright enough to say, I will only be treated with kindness. Mm -hmm. I will only be treated with love. I will only be respected. So, no, I don't think we're marginalizing men. I think we're helping them. What you want to say to women watching? What should they walk away with ah. most importantly That's... from Rochelle today? I think... <clears throat> If nothing else, that at this very moment, as you're hearing my voice, you draw a line in the sand that you own, that you were born awesome and born amazing and born to tap into every success that your heart can desire. And love does not come from environment. The love that you have for yourself, that love that you're able to tap into and squeeze every day. That when you look in the mirror, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, that you can say, I am beautiful. But what that means is that you have to accept that you're not a part person. You're not partial. You are whole. We are born whole. And always bear that in mind. Everything else in life is enhancement to the whole that you are. So live like you're a full person. Full. Everything else is just accessories. <laughs> you are full. You are awesome. You are amazing. Plug into your power. You know, try to find a power. Plug into it. Awesome sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Rochelle. And all the best on your journey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a final break. When we return, we'll be discussing financial empowerment for women right after this with Carrie Ann Stimson from JMMB. We'll be right back. Oh, hey,